Okay. And up to SC365. It's just a little hill. Uh, not far from the house. But it'll get me outside. And uh, I'll get a little hike in. Get some exercise. So I'll be uh, quarantining myself out there on the quasi trail actually is a trail i may take on the way back down so we'll see how this goes CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. At the trailhead. Kind of, sort of, dirt road. Um, <laughs> but short little hike. Should get this done pretty quick. There's a hill right behind me. Um, forecast to rain all next week, so. I'm going to try to get some exercise where I can. <sighs> well, found a soul out here, so pretty easy to keep a social distance, as I expected. Nobody really knows, except if you uh, live in the neighborhood. Well, I bought this little road. Um, so, didn't have to worry about hordes of people anyway. Looking down onto suburbia. A hill over there. Uh, there's a flag on the right and left peaks. So we're not really that far away from that little RB mountain. That I've done earlier this year. The one on the left. One thing about this route. Sure, it's paved for here. I could have gone the other side. But it's a real fire burner. Grove of flowers. Mustard over there. Looks like a ham operator lives there. He's got some really long wires set up and a Yagi. God, it looks like he has a pole all the way at the top of that hill. That's pretty cool. He's got the room to do it. Pretty much at the summit. I'm going to set up right over here next to that chain link fence. Throw some wire in the air. Let's see what I can get. Didn't see a single person the entire way. Saw a lot of birds and a lot of noise being made by those guys. That's about it. So, very enjoyable little, probably one mile or something. So let's get her done.
packed up and heading out. <clears throat> I'm taking the uh, uh, road, little road flash trail on the way back instead of the main road. Just got a little variety. It's very peaceful. Uh, I haven't seen anybody for, well, since I started the hike, so. <clears throat> Pretty awesome. Just to be out here. Scratching around. I um, bagged a ton of contacts. The chasers were hungry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's fun. A little hard to work the pile ups when you get like nothing but a solid tone. As soon as one guy finishes, everybody else wants to jump in. So yeah, I tried everything, every trick in the book, and uh, eventually worked the pile up down. I'm sure people could tell after a while uh, what they're having to deal with. Um, so they slowed down and uh, spread out. Maybe some of them gave up, but uh, eventually I was able to, you know, use a trick like just send a W question mark when you just couldn't get anything. And then if I get a W6, then I go W6 question mark until I could get down to one guy uh, sending. So. Anyway, that was uh, quite an experience this morning. Looks like uh, some cars parked down there. People might be hiking. There's people out there in that field. First set of people I've seen since I've been up here. Mom and dad with a couple kids. Probably dying to get out of the house. We got rain coming all next week, so I was dying to get out of the house. This is a really slimy mess right here. It's funny how these collect right here. Maybe a just a natural uh, low area for water. Some more coming up. And that's about as exciting as it gets. So you're just looking at um, kind of this big oh, hill, mountain, whatever. Um, and I just came around the right side of that and went up the left side. So it's kind of cool. A little wrap around and that's a going around the right side of it is very pleasant. Nice little nature walk. The chasers were hungry. But uh, anyway, thanks chasers. With that, I'm going to say 73. If you're interested in learning how to do soda, or a little bit more about how I do it, check out my channel and look at the series called Soda 360. I show you the beginning, all the planning and prep that goes into it, along with the very end where we log the contacts. Thanks for watching.